Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Dillian White gave a brief interview with uh, Sky Sports and he briefly outlined some pressing headlines, if you like, um, most notably with his upcoming fight against Robert Hellenius at the weekend on the Joshua Takam undercard. But he also spoke about Anthony Joshua himself in the rematch and Deontay Wilder and Joseph Parker. But anyway, this is what Dillian White had to say. I don't think Robert Hellenius likes the heat, which will play against him because I'm coming to cook something on Saturday. He was supposed to be the next Vladimir Klitschko. They were really pushing him at one stage. He's had a couple of slip-ups along the way, but he's very experienced compared to me. I'm very close to a world title shot, and with all the world champions out there being tall, we've been chasing tall opponents for the past while. We've been unlucky securing those fights, but now we are here with Robert Hellenius. I've got a saying, it's better getting an ugly win than a pretty loss. So I'll do whatever I have to do when I get out there. As far as Wilder con is concerned, Jonte Wilder is a disgrace. I want to get into a position to fight for his belt because he's not going to do it voluntarily. They will say AJ is number one. He has multiple belts and he's the only one who is fighting the names. Wilder is a chump. He's not fought a mandatory in the two years he's been champion. And Joseph Parker is defending his title on YouTube. So that shows what his level is also. Joshua is the man at the minute. I want the rematch with Joshua. I'd like to fight Parker or Wilder first. They are the two weakest world champions. I'll beat one of those, which will then set up a massive rematch with Joshua over here at Wembley or Cardiff or even another country. I'd even fight him in Nigeria. So that was Dillian White's statement there. So very, very dismissive of the other champions and almost complimentary, if you like, of Joshua. And we do know Dillian White and Joshua have a bit of a history where they don't like each other. In both of their minds, it's 1-1 um, with Anthony Joshua beating him as a pro and Dillian White dropping him and beating Joshua as an amateur. Now to us and or, well, I say us, boxing fans in general will see it as Anthony Joshua is 1-0, but in both of their minds is 1-1 one, one. so that is what sets up a very very tasty rematch as and when that happens as far as um, Robert Hellenius goes he is very very tall and he's right um, Robert Hellenius was pipped to be the next big thing in boxing a few years back but ultimately slipped off the rails even though he's only ever had one loss which was against Yuan Tuapa um, a little while ago so it's a very very tough hard fight for Dillian White Robert Hellenius is convinced that he's going to knock out Dillian White and Dillian White vice versa. He's going to put up the heat on Robert Hellenius. Um, when he went on to Wilder saying that he's a disgrace, he's never fought a mandatory since he's become champion. Absolutely right. Um, his fight against Bermain Stavern will be the first time that he's fought a mandatory. Not always his fault, but still, he has still only ever fought none, actually. He's fought no mandatories at all. Come close to Povetkin once, but that was it. Um, Joseph Parker, obviously he, he did have a fight on YouTube, but again, that wasn't down to him or Duco. That was all McKennessy and Team Fury. They arranged all that kind of thing. So, interesting times. Should Dillian White get past Robert Hellenius, I'm pretty sure that the WBC will give him the winner of Dominic Brazil and Eric Molina. Of course, Dominic Brazil is the fight that he wanted anyway. He's been calling for it for quite a while now, tall opponent, and to get him ready for Wilder, if you like. And he's right that Wilder isn't going to give him a voluntary shot. So Dillian White needs to move himself into a position where Dante Wilder, as much as he is scared of Dillian White, and I think that's obvious to everybody, um, that if you are getting a whole ton of money thrown at you and you still say no, then you know that person is actually scared. There's no way around it, no if, no buts. But either way, Wilder is then going to be put into a position where he's now going to have to fight Dillian White or vacate his belt if he's that scared. Um, with uh, Joseph Parker, I can see him giving Dillian White a voluntary. Um, I really can. But of course, that will depend on Eddie Hearn. Is he going to offer Parker the same kind of money as what he's been offering 
Deontay Wilder. I think champion for champion, I think it should be the same kind of level. Um, I know Eddie Hearn is saying that Joseph Parker's last performance against Huey Fury has kind of like uh, dropped his stock, if you like. But at the end of the day, it's a win and he beat a very, very tricky, awkward Huey Fury. He came out with the victory. So if you want to compare it, Joseph Parker has actually been in there with Takam and Andy Ruiz Jr. And of course, Huey Fury. Deontay Wild has been in there with you tell me who's been in there with. So if Wilder has been offered three to four million, then I think Joseph Parker should also be at least. So anyway, you drop yourself a comment, like the video and subscribe.